In case anyone's curious what we're doing here, it's a subframe drop. Uh, is this the part where we tell them we got the lift adjusted then it still lowers crooked? Struts are back together with the new shock that we picked up in Salt Lake. Here's a flashback. <laughs> so we could have just had a new strut um, from somewhere like Summit for 70 bucks and we would have had it a mm, week and a half ago, but instead we waited for this whew, crushed one. I'm not even sure if this is the hope it's the right strut not fun drove about 35 miles to get that yeah, I had a business call and so I did not realize I'd gone too far and so now a little power meter is kind of on the low side so I am driving around in eco mode I've got the heater off my feet are freezing cold and I've got less than 50% power I'm not gonna make it home at this point so I'm gonna have to stop uh, at a friend's place and get a charge. Hopefully they'll let me charge this car, even though it's incredibly embarrassing. Uh, Mustang, yeah, it's good. Yeah, just be a Mustang, I think. I could do a flyby now, there he goes. That's the power of the electric car. I was able to get a few more miles of range by plugging into uh, a power source, so that worked out okay. But no tires, the tires did not fit in the vehicle. So that was stupid. In fact, everything about today was stupid. Should I be filming this or? Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Oh my God. I didn't even have to swear out at that time. That was fantastic. So what we want to do is probably press this pedal. <laughs> no, don't no? make the car do a flip. All right. Subframes come down, you ready? Here we go, big moment. Now what this allows us to do for the people who are more interested in the technical aspects of this build, allows us to put the rinky dinkle pieces in which push the oopa loopa up into the dunga dung. It's the him dams into the shim shams, which yep. makes the whim whams line up. Okay, so this is the uh, steering shaft extension. Right down there. Yep, that's the steering column. I feel like this is a fairly important step that we shouldn't really skimp on. A lot of people omit adding this additional link into the steering. Um, they lift the vehicle. Not us. Not, not us. These are the spacers here. They actually go in between the frame of the car and the subframe. You can see the spacers creating. You can literally see the space here that they've created. Can I have that one in your hand? You may. Thank you. So what's happening, we're dropping this lower subframe down. We extend our steering down. It allows our steering to stay flat. If you look at the tie rod, where it's at, if we didn't put these spacers in, and this is all the way up here, that tie rod would be so right now, it's gonna stay flat. See how flat our tie rod stays? Struts are back in. Boopity boop and uh, boopity boop. So the question today, guys, is do we leave the sway bars on or take them off? Do we want speed and stability or do we want travel? Don't know the answer yet. Mr. D here is reassembling the uh, brakes, which we find are fairly important in a vehicle application. I am going to do Mr. D a solid here and cut those. Well, that's what you want a dykes for, to cut the zip ties? Yes, sir. I oh, you found some. Yes, I did. Huh. The secret here is to only cut <laughs> the right thing. Okay, I'm gonna pitch something crazy. Okay. If we made helpful, informative videos instead of trying to act like teenagers, that might go over better. I'm compressing the brake valve to piss in. Oh, okay. Put our new brake valve, or not new are slightly used, but still in perfect condition. Brake pads on. Here's the deal. We got this. This goes on top of the strut. We're missing one. We're, we're pretty sure there's two. We're almost we're positive there's like two. Like 99% sure 
there should be two of these. I feel like we're the kind of people who would have had the strut nut fall and then we'd say something like, we'll find it later, but then forget about it. We're gonna find the nut and we'll be back after our nut hunt. I have had a revelation. Hey, revelation. So, there was a time when we were taking this apart and if you notice down here, there's lots of maybe tumbleweeds. And there was this guy that thought he was funny with a shot back and he wanted to vacuum everything. I remember. So guess what he vacuumed up? He vacuumed up. up the nut. He vacuumed up my nut. Yeah, and we said we'll get it later. So the nut's in there. The nut. There's our nut. Ah, ha, ha. There that's, it is. That's good TV. Dude, <laughs> good call. Good call. That was awesome. It was in the vacuum. Crisis Goodbye. averted. So this is our, our test fit. Got a uh, fitment issue up here in the front, but luckily the map shows us that we just have to cut this and then we're good. All right, question for you people. Put your answer in the comments. Is that how that works? Yeah. We just ask them all the questions, but then yeah. ignore the answer because we've already done it. Yeah. Would you use a Saza or a, uh, like a rotary tool to cut this uh, fender out? Put your answer in the comments and then stick around to see exactly what we did in a minute. So look at her. My friend here is a little overexcited. Oh man. Uh, I feel like if we can get the tires on and get the right lug nuts, we just go drive it. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we won't be able to steer it. Yeah, no turn. Oh, look I at that. She is a thing of beauty. So excited. I'm actually pretty happy with the uh, the offset here. Yeah, that offset is perfect. With the fenders on there, that's gonna look really good. Yeah, that'll be that'll look that'll look really good. Stance. So moving on to the rear now, we are reading the instructions. Um, we're not great readers, so we are struggling a little bit. But we're gonna figure this out. Uh, this I want to know if your reading comprehension I, is better than mine. I didn't go to the school. Read this paragraph. I dropped out of the college so I could make the smart car. All I had to do was hold them and you got it. Yeah. So it's gonna go like this. That's gonna bolt back in. We're gonna drill the top, put a bolt through, put the shock back on. Sounds good. We are way too high. Yeah, it's it's under here. Let's take a little peek in the engine. Right here. What? Right there. Oh, that's not bad. That one is right there. Okay. Nice. Easy. So easy. I wonder if somebody drove this through a field. You ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to. If anybody knows any good detailers, comment oh, below. Man. We're gonna need to. Dude, look at this. Throw it out. Don't touch it. No. Dagan thinks the engine's dirty. Do you guys think we should wash it? <laughs> comment below. <laughs> Hold on. Let's read this. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Where's our displacement? 1.0 liters. That's a lot. That is a lot. Look at the engineering of this dipstick tube. Through the valve cover. Who else can do that? Bolts removed from the rear struts, and now we'll lift the car back up, and I don't know, something good will happen, I guess. Take something else apart. Let's see what we got here. So at this right. point, uh, I'm gonna pull down. Okay. See if you can get that out. Ready? That, no, definitely not. No? No, no way. So what if we just put a jack in the middle and lower the whole thing, even though it says not to? What we're doing here is lowering the uh, rear subframe um, to install the uh, spacers and the new struts yeah, in the back. Like, this is going out, that'll work. We can do that. Progress here. You put the uh, spacer in on top of the spring. The spacer's been installed here, and now we are going to add the, um, shock, extensions. the shock extensions over here. 
Those are going to mount into the uh, stock area. They're going to bolt. We're going to drill a hole and bolt it into this uh, cross member. What, what is this called? Does that have a name? I don't know smart word for it. The smart tube. Yeah, I'll show them. smart tube. So we're going to drill into the smart tube. And uh, this thing's going to be uh, pretty much done. Except for, Except for the body modifications. Except for the body modifications, which will be a different video. Oh, and then yeah. the, the Hayabusa, which we can't really talk about. Right. Can't talk about that. I'm going to turn this video off and talk about it. This little bracket piece right here sits in there. And then I guess we... I got that wrong earlier. We're going to drill through the, the top of this uh, smart, smart bar. Ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing a master at work. That can't find the hole. Ladies and gentlemen, once you find the hole, I'll say it again. It's not his fault. It's a tiny hole. You got it? No. This bracket has now been attached here. There is a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bolt on the inside. Holds that on. Now we're gonna put the struts back in right here. And uh, the back will be done. We got a complaint. So we had uh, there's two nuts, but one of them they sent us is the wrong size. So we need the big one. We got the small one here. So um, that's a bummer, because that means we probably can't finish until we get another. Nut. Also, I don't think we're going to find a locking nut this size, man. Not here. I'll grab one tomorrow. Look at him. He's going to go steal one off our Gojack. Don't, don't, don't.